doomed planet. Desperate scientists. Last hope. Kindly couple. Superman. Welcome to the episode of that scene. We all dream that our favorite heroes would live on forever, whether if they are real or fiction. We have high expectations that they will always be there for us. Not in here, it won't. In the animated film, All-Star Superman that came in 2011, Clark Kent must fight one last battle to save Earth as he prepares for the end of his own life in this animated adventure. With his time running out, the Man of Steel soon learns that his impending death Lex. is part of an evil plot by his oldest enemy, Lex Luthor. A comment. Uh, fusion will occur in 30 seconds. The movie is based on the 12-issued comic book series featuring Superman that ran from November 2005 to October 2008. The series was written by Grant Morrison and drawn by Frank Quitely. It's pretty hard to imagine Superman dying. After all, he has battled every single supernatural force that ever came to existence who tried to threaten Earth. A humble savior of the masses. He was already indoctrinated by his beloved parents who taught him the meaning of morality, and what it was like to, live as a human being. And yet, when our beloved, superhero discovers that he was overexposed, by solar radiation after battling a genetically enhanced clone, at the beginning of the movie, Superman, quietly came to grips of his newfound discovery. I need a favor, Dr. Quentin. Anything. My condition. Don't tell anyone. Not yet. There are some things I have to do first. Superman does not go in a frenzy on going after Lex Luthor to seek revenge. Instead, he did the complete opposite. He took the time to tie up loose ends. Knowing that his time was near, Superman made every effort to show his appreciation and gratitude for what he'd accomplished knowing that he has a short amount of time to live. Superman reveals to Lois that he is Clark Kent. In an effort to welcome Lois into his life, Superman takes her to the Fortress of Solitude. All the years I spent trying to prove you were Superman, you almost had me a couple of times. Even with the of best intentions, from Superman, Lois still felt that he should have had the opportunity to let her know the truth, long ago when he first came to Metropolis. It sickens me, that insipid boyish grin the smug self-regard. Tell the truth. What separates Superman from Lex Luthor was the absence of indignation towards mankind. Superman did not have any need to abuse his power. He understood the consequences and the effects, even with the overdose of solar radiation, which caused Superman to become more powerful than he was. It did not give him any reason to seek an opportunity to exert his new abilities towards the human race. Lex Luthor, on the other hand, wanted to have his moment of glory by wanting to be the ruler of the world. The same thing that's gonna happen to Superman! Talking about some new superpowers, when Man Samson and Atlas appear in Metropolis, we see Superman's focused memory. <laughs> they surrender. Response acceptable. And super strength. Then we have a deal. If I win, you both leave the 21st century right now. I'm sorry, have you two already started? <laughs> the 
The movie is focused more on Superman's ability to cope with his death, while showing that appreciation for life. In a way, it seems that Superman was not surprised about his outcome and was already prepared from the beginning. In the end, Superman wasn't just a hero because of his powers, but because he learned how to embrace his vulnerabilities when he was at his weakest. Thank you for taking the time to watch another episode of that scene. Please be sure to click the thumbs up button, comment, and subscribe. He's not dead. He's up there fixing the sun. And when he's done, he'll be back. <laughs>